Okay, once you finalized your wire and you're happy with the fit, we're gonna tag it with a little bit of wax. We're gonna let that cool down. And then we're gonna remove our wire. We're gonna pry that out. And we're gonna use a grinding stone, a fine one, that I can round off the tip. Initially, round off the tip with your with a stone. Uh, you can certainly adjust the weight of the stone. You can taper it somewhat with a grinding stone as well. If you want to get in a little bit finer, and I'll show you on the last wire that I'm going to bend how to do that. That's good. And then we can continue with a rubber point. Now I've used this rubber point before, so it's got a bit of a, an altered surface to it, uneven surface to it. So what you can do is use any type of stone, even the existing one, and kind of smooth it out a little bit. And you can even taper a little bit so it's a little more ideal of a shape to fit inside the wire. And I've created some, some nicks here on the wire. So I'm gonna take the, uh, the opportunity now to round those off, to smooth those out. You don't need to do this portion because this is gonna be embedded inside the acrylic, but certainly the part of the wire and then a little bit more, you need to polish the wire with a rubber point to get rid of the little nicks. Keep in mind, the more you start adjusting this wire or polishing this wire with a rubber point, that you're making it smaller and smaller in diameter. And I'm just gonna go a little bit over the tip. Avoid polishing the wire on the inside where it's contacting the tooth surface because it's not gonna fit the way you bend it anymore. A few nicks down here. And that looks pretty good. So now I'm gonna take this wire, place it back onto the cast and see how everything looks again. And again, I'm gonna use that little um, wax to make sure to reposition the wire back to where it was. Now, one more thing I wanna keep in mind. I'm looking at the distance now between here and here, and I think I've gone a little more than halfway, which I think it's going to interfere eventually with this wire coming around and ending up here. So I'm just gonna cut this off ever so slightly to give myself a little more room for the clasp on 3.7. So right about there, very little. Now, it's impossible for me to hold this part of the wire, and I know that little part, once I start putting pressure to cut, it's gonna go flying. So to keep things safe, take this wire and hold it inside a garbage can, and that tip will stay inside the garbage can. So I'll do it under my bench, over a garbage can, Put it back on here, and you can clearly see that it's a little bit shorter, and it gives me a little more room to work 
with the clasp on the molar. So I'm just going to add a little more wax here to seal it down. I'll finish off the other two wires on the 3.7 and the 4.5 and then we'll, take a we'll make a final assessment of the wires and see how everything, um, everything fits and looks up against the opposing. And once more on that subject, make sure that you put your model back onto your mounting and assess that you have clearance of the opposing arch so there's no interference with a wire and hopefully you have some space now between the wire and the opposing dentition so you can cover the wire with the prosthetic tooth and it looks a little more uh, aesthetically pleasing.